Guys, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, he's taking a picture of me. Look, you should be back up there. He's wondering, taking pictures yeah, uh, somewhere. Uh, how many of you is there here this evening, then? Uh, there's seven of us here this evening, including two guests, Dave uh, and Burgess, who is on his Excellent, guest, excellent. Yeah. And, and uh, for people who have not come across you before, uh, who's going to tell me about how, how the collective started? Who had, who had the main idea? Uh, it wasn't really an idea like that, was it? It just sort of come together organically. Yeah, yeah, well, it came together about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we had a media page called The Collective Media, where we uh, had rappers on, ah. singers... Uh, musicians and we had a YouTube media channel and we all jammed together and then we met like that and then we won a competition for a festival in Grantham called Fake Fest that was in 2015 mm -hmm. and then we got the band together with Toby um, myself, Sooth and Craig and then ever since Chris has come along Jordan's come along, Gav's come along we've just sort of grown over the years into what you see now and Throughout the years Doc, I know you've seen us quite a few times Yeah. I know you would have seen our numbers grow and yeah. increase and, and whatnot, but that's how it's always been. We've never really planned for anything. It's just go go with the flow and gel with people that we can mm. gel with. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a nice way to do it, though, isn't it? Yeah, man. you know, people will come and go. You know, and uh, there's always a core. There seems to be a core membership anyway, don't there? Yeah, like we seem to be a pretty solid unit uh, for the past few years, and we've been gigging for the past. It's nearly eight, eight years, years now. Eight years strong. No major bust ups. Oh. Good. good. You've been good boys in. What's the first song you're going to play for us this evening, guys? Uh, the first song, I do believe, is a track called Time. Oh, I love this one. Classic. It's a, it's a collective classic. Open my eyes, I'm blinded by the sunlight, reminded it's all right. But I'm still here, I'm still breathing, I'm still blessed with life. And I think the time... How many life I died for us to get here? So, baby, I could be quite positive, man. Had it in negative, put out of my environment. It's already in the represent this, even though they would have left with a shimmer. I'm saying, it's better than still. Don't promote the status quo. Don't promote the homes with a cheap fuse. The low self scheme with no sex appeal. Please be real to yourself. You can find your happiness. And how you can't predict what time foretells. But time, you rotates the world. And time, you rotates the world. Like time, 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 like time. Time moves too fast and time, it creates the past and in time, it can heal the heart and don't wash that cause time can be asked in time, there ain't no stopping in time, we climb from the bottom in time, memories can be forgotten in time, we can watch roses blossom like la 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 la, la 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 la, hey la. A beautiful flower spawn and life will go on, but don't get me wrong. I know you're overworn out, but stay strong. Stuff to the system, even though we can't find it. I fight for it, I do claim, but if it's until the joint come along with the apocalypse, I believe you can find your happiness. But you gotta take chances, slow down. You ain't gotta live that the fastest. The lonely times are the darkest, but we gotta try your hardest to fight the love. That heart give us too many love, half hearted. What is it you're scared to give or receive? Please, we can find inner peace like time. Time moves too fast and time. It creates the past and in time It can heal my heart and don't wash that Cause time can be asked in time It ain't no stopping in time We can laugh from the bottom in time Memories can't be forgotten in time We can watch roads and blossom black La 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 Every day I count my blessings, every day we ask more questions, every day we keep on guessing, but there's no time like the present. In time I see the past, we decide, I see our great sides turn right, I see our state stand up back, cause I know there's true love inside, I see it inside, a true love that's pure, I've got so much could be yours, but don't let the hatred absorb, and jump, go, go and give support, you only as smart as your close, your friends, be real with yourself, but don't pretend, talk to late to make amends, spread love, spread love, you'll be better when the time is at hand. Time moves too fast and time It creates the past and in time It can heal a heart but don't wash that Cause time can be asked in time There ain't no stopping in time We can climb from the bottom in time Memories can't be forgotten in time We can watch roses blossom like La 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 la
little time we have hey. to make the most oh. out of what little we have. Hey, all in due time. Uh, you got you got a new album coming out, haven't you? We do, yeah. The seventeenth of November. No, not too far away then. Organised chaos. We're having a party as usual at uh, Mama Liz's Voodoo Lounge in Stanford, and it's available to pre-save now as well. Uh, the links are all on social media and that, and yeah. The pre, yeah, the pre-save for the stream, the pre-order for the hard copy, and tickets for the actual party as well. We're all on online right now. Is that is that a CD? Uh, there are hard copies for CDs. Yeah, got cool. It. Got, got to do it, didn't you? Of course you have, mate. Yeah, you know, yeah. Before you know it, technology will kill it all out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Got to keep it alive. So, wait, so. wait whereabouts have you been recording it? Electric Bear Studios in Mansfield's where we've been recording. We've done the whole album there uh, with a couple of great guys called Sam, Simon and Jared. And, yeah, we've been working on it for about two, three years. God. Well, mind you, it's, it's expensive, isn't it, to go into the studio and, yeah, and, and, do, and, and do, it, do it properly? <laughs> It's cost about, what, four grand, probably, a total? Probably. <laughs> music, music videos, uh, recordings, all in all. Yeah? Probably about four or five grand, yeah. yeah. And how have you financed that? Is that just out of gigs and stuff like that, or have you all had to put it into your own pocket as well? It's been a mixture of everything, really, yeah, isn't it? halfway through, we were still self-funded. I'm not going to lie, coronavirus ruined everything. It ruined yeah. everything for a lot of people. Like It was all self-sustained, been paying for itself right up until yeah. lockdown. <laughs> and then... Uh, we finished the, everyone finished their album off by uh, like chipping in out their own pockets hmm. like, while we get the momentum back up. Yeah. But now we're not in the studio. We're over, we've got a lot more life. Now we're going to sell it and make some money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the bit that I like. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's been a great process, though. We have, we've enjoyed making it more than anything. And yeah, like we've already had some pre-orders go out. And it's just it's, it's amazing Like when you work on something so hard, like people actually want to listen to it. And being going as long as we have as well, like we we definitely are thankful for the fan base that we've got. Yeah, and, and videos, how many videos have you done then? Uh, we've got one out already, which we shot in Peterborough called Suppression. Suppression. Oh yeah, remember that one? Um, and we've got two more that are locked and loaded and ready to go. Excellent. Yeah, we've got some acoustic sessions as well. Um, so from the album, we've got what have we got from the album that's out? We've got Suppression, which is the newest one. Mm -hmm. We've got a video for Figure It Out as well. Time we did during lockdown. Yeah, we got a lockdown video. But we're going to revisit that. That, but um, yeah, we got we got loads in the bag that we're just sitting on. But we just don't want to release it all in one go. No, no, you don't do that, do you? Got to mm. ease people in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. We're excited because it's like out of everything that we've made as a project, it's like the most different out of everything that we've done. Yeah, it's the biggest one. The most time's gone into it. The most thought's gone into it. The most work, and and the music's just different to what we've made before. It's the first project where it's full band from start to finish as well. Mm. Like, again, we started off in a bedroom using a Mac and a MIDI keyboard. So, like, the journey from then till now. Oh, the things what, we what? did in that bedroom. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> did, didn't you end on up, radio. <laughs> did it, didn't you end up in the, mixing stuff in the back of a transit van or something as well? For one project we did, yeah. Yeah, we it? did, yeah. Little port portable studio. In, in a transit van, yeah. So are we gonna get we're gonna get some of these exclusive tonight, hopefully, are we some of the new new Definitely, tracks? Uh, yeah. we're gonna we've got Burgess on the way, he's stuck in traffic in Yaxley, like I say, and um, mm. he's on his way to perform the new single called Suppression. That video is out now. And yeah, we've got a few few more exclusives for sure. Excellent. What's the next one you're gonna play for us guys? Uh, this is an old one, uh, it's called Tribbles. Off you go. Yeah. Featuring the brother Demo. <laughs> Away. I smoke 
my troubles away. Believe in karma cause I see it every day. I spoke my troubles away. So don't you worry, sing it, don't you be afraid. I spoke my troubles away. The future's mine, the future's ours, and I will change. I spoke my troubles. I spoke my troubles. Here we go. Smoking my troubles away, light it all up and I say I keep my head up to the clouds, I'm open bro I do you proud to brush away the negativity, it's not for me I'm living life to the fullest, no, that's for me I got a lot on my mind and now I'm picking apart I see the smoke blow towards me, now I'm back to the start Don't let the worries overtake you, I will make you I'm a pass around and spark it up again, my friend I smoke my troubles I see you every day. I smoke my troubles away. So don't you worry, sing it, don't you be afraid. I smoke my troubles away. The future's mine, the future's ours, and I won't change. I smoke my troubles. I smoke my troubles. On the guitar, Jordan, oh, like you, ladies and gents. Shout out, shout, shout out to uh, Paul Biggins, a shout out to uh, Michael hey, Day, a uh, shout out to Richard Hart, and a shout out to uh, Sinead O'Connor. Cannon. Uh, guys, thank you very much for listening you, and uh, watching the show. Love, 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 love. Yeah, and Sinead Cannon says, I believe in karma because I see it every day. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. okay. <laughs> The Michael Day com <laughs> Michael Day comments. I like a bit of reggae. Great song, love it, guys. Thank you very much for listening and uh, watching the show. Awesome. Uh, so, how'd you go about writing writing songs? Uh, that's, oh, that's an interesting the, question. I've been smoking a coffee in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> No. That's probably it's, the that's best. Us right. That's how I write my bit. Anyway, oh, right, <laughs> might be the best way to put that. <laughs> 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 But if you write your song, once you bring it down to the studio, as it, uh, or the practice room, as it goes. I thought you meant the toilet then. Bring the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just bring the toilet down to the studio. M most of this album, Aaron or Craig would write like the bare bones of the song, and then we yeah. would literally have to write our parts in the studio on the day. Yeah. But oh, it worked so well. Not all of them are like that, though, are they? <laughs> a lot of them. I mean, it was like, pretty, <laughs> really good because like we did have the bare bones of a song. We'd take it to studio, and it would sort of build itself on the day. Oh, so like, you sort of jam it out. Yeah. Yeah, quite often, like, Aaron will just turn up, like, we'll go to the studio to record something else, and Aaron will be like, oh, yeah, just listen to this, yeah? And he will sing, like, a four-bar hook with, like, two chords on a, on a guitar, and, and, then, and then, like, a month later, it's a full-blown song, because everyone's just taken that most minute bit and just done their bit, and it's all come together. Like, a lot of them have been like yeah. that. That is memories, like, yeah. We, yeah. Went to, we went to the studio with memories. We had two lines to a chorus, really. <laughs> <laughs> two lines and a chorus, <laughs> innit? <laughs> and it was meant to be an acoustic song. Like, that's and awesome. It's now a full track that's that's on the on the album now. So, like, uh, quite a few of them on the album that have been like that. Yeah. That organic, homegrown feeling. Can't, can't, uh, Which is really good because, you know, uh, these guys have worked extremely hard to create something truly Thank special. You, Demo. They really have. And they've done a lot, and on November 17th, they're going to show you a lot. <laughs> oh, I look forward to hearing it. Well, I've heard, I've, heard, I've heard part of the new album already. They just sound really, really good. So that's why you spent a lot of money doing it, because you went in there with no, no uncompleted uncomple songs, isn't it? You never had them all sort of sorted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Organised chaos, that's right there. Yeah. It's not over though, Doc. Even though we finished the album and we're getting hard copies, it's not over because we're now decided to um, do a music video for every single song that's on the album. 
<laughs> so you're going to have visuals for every single song that's on the album as well. So we'll keep you guys. Do you enjoy, guys do you, do you enjoy doing videos? Yeah, it's different. We have a good time. We really it, enjoy like, it as sure. well. Like a, a lot of us have. I've, it's, it's mad. I'm, I find myself, and I know some of the other lads can say as well, like getting excited about having ideas for visuals hmm. just as much as we're getting excited about having ideas for songs. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. it is. It's still creativity in that. And yeah, we've met yeah. some really good guys along the way as well. Yeah, we work with a guy called Jake Bentley from Grantham. He has a, his uh, movie company called The Three Lancers. And um, they are from Grantham originally, Jake is. But uh, him and his good friend, they've set up their own movie company called The Three Lancers. So check them out. And uh, yeah, they're who we're working with visually. And they've done some really no, great visuals amazing for work. us. Yeah, they are incredible. They are, really are. Excellent. What's the next one you're going to play for us, guys? Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Went straight to the phone. <laughs> Good link. Uh, Craig's going to play uh, one of the new tracks off the album. It's called Figure It Out. So, uh, everyone at home, make some noise for Craig if you're in your room chilling. It's like, Craig is, Craig is, Craig is. We love you, Craig. <laughs> Have fun, dude. Cragus, Cragus, Cragus. This song's called Figure It Out. We do have a music video out for it on YouTube. The collective band Figure It Out. Hello. Hello. With the complete just got the word I care for. My sister and me, I can tell at the time that this is different me. But it doesn't matter now, you started to see the errors in my ways and my reasons to be.
A few more shouts. A uh, shout out to uh, Nigel Withers and a shout out to Alfred Dabrowski and a shout out to Richard Hart. Good old Richard Hart. He's probably the first radio station you went on, weren't it? The one in Grantham. He was, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah what, what was that one in Grantham called? Can't remember now. Smoke Jim and I don't think it's running anymore, is it? No, it's off air now, which is a shame. What's the music scene like in Grantham? Is it, is it got your cells, I mean? It's not so, it's, it's still a bit of a music scene there. I mean, since. It's a cover scene. Yeah. Good. Well, I think yeah. that's like a, a lot of places have got a lot of cover bands playing in different bars and clubs like that. So you, may, you mainly sort of play out of town then, yeah? We aim to, yeah. I mean, if uh, the opportunity arises in Grantham, we used to really enjoy the Castlegate venue in Grantham. Yeah. That was a. Uh... That was like the only venue. Yeah. So we've been getting quite a few offers recently. Yeah, yeah. What in Grantham? Yeah. yeah. Have you? Yeah, so I mean, you might be the giving them a local show the right now and again. Place, then we should we should definitely do it. Yeah. Yeah. The gate was another one that's closed down. We always used to go there. That was like the local one, wasn't it? Yeah. Like the local go to. What happened to the Castle Gate? How come it went downhill then? I actually don't know. Covid, I think. Yeah, more than likely during yeah, COVID. During COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, COVID. Yeah. COVID strikes again. <laughs> yeah, well, it has. It's, it's sunk a lot of uh, bars and places like that and venues. It's, it's a great shame, really. You know, so well, I suppose you get a lot of. Uh... <laughs> What's all this flying through the air business? What's all that? Eh? Someone did, someone did turn their Come on, it's not Christmas yet. It's only September. Now then, you know what I mean? You want to get back in Tesco, stacking well, up. This the is Chris Tarrant. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on radio. I'm going to call you back later. <laughs> <laughs> there's always one. There's always one. <laughs> if there's always one, you know it's going to be us. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> We've just used one of our lifelines. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a ringtone, isn't it? You know what I mean? Anything else, it might have been all right. But you know what I mean? But Ali, Ali Jones, that's done me in, really. <laughs> We've just fr- jumped three months into the future. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have you play another track. How about that? <laughs> You've got time for two more. <laughs> You've got plenty of time. You don't mind. You don't do it as a Christmas carol, do you, while you were here? <laughs> That's it. It was Ali Jones. It was the snowman. Oh, it was yeah, it was Ali. Yeah. <laughs> Ali Jones. Christmas soon. It's never too early. Rules for life.
Oh, that was a good one. I've not heard that one before. That's a new one off the album, dude. Ah. Who's, 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 what's your inspiration then, guys? What, what sort of uh, artists fry you up? How long you got? Well, yeah, we've got, we got half hour. <laughs> Uh, the songs just sort of write themselves, man. I think, inspiration-wise, I mean, we're into... I think we can be classed as, I don't know, you've got, like, the streets and stuff like that, gorillas, maybe, some of the cross... Like, we love the yeah. cross-genre groups and the bands that are not in a box. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And with us, like, having three writers in this band, you know, there's uh, always going to be the different styles of music mm. that all come together, and it. it's great. What sort of artists uh, sort of inspires you, then, AJ? Me? Yeah. Um... I'm always I'm a big fan of Plan B. Um, Plan B. I like Yellow Wolf. I like um, yeah stuff like that. Like I like the hip hop cross. Like because Plan B's always mixed up his genres. Like mm. he started with a hip hop album, went onto a soul album, and yeah stuff like that for me, dude. You like Pink Floyd though? Well. Yeah, I'm, I'm into my old school stuff yeah. as well. Like, I love Floyd. Yeah, um, like we played a game when we're driving in his car because he has his playlist on it. It has like all genres from all time eras. Yeah. You know, like, guess the game. So you got to try and get... Yeah, you got to... Sorry, not guess the game. Guess the song. You guess the song. Oh, I'm, getting, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm getting carried away with myself, Doc. Yeah, guess right. the song, you know. You've got, you, you got, you got to guess it by the time chorus comes in, otherwise it's, you've lost that round, like... Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. He has me going for ages. Just, I always find a new song when I get in his car. That's a good thing, though, isn't it? it great? Oh, yeah, it yeah. is. It yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Have you like an SD card, AJ, where you just plonk it in the, in the way you go? Yeah, it's... it's Schizophrenia with music, I think. Mm. That's what it is. That's yeah. what I like to call it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the name of the next <laughs> album. <laughs> yeah, well, I like, I like, I like. In three years' time, you watch. <laughs> Schizophrenic tunes. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. What, what about yourself then, uh, Alper? What sort of uh, stuff do you like? Uh, a bit of everything, really. Mm. I mean, um, I listen to a lot of rap, more yeah. so. And do you know what? I can't even say... When I'm at home, I listen to instrumentals. Hmm. I don't listen to music at home. I only listen to music when I'm out, if you know yeah. what I mean. If I'm at home and I'm listening, if I've got a choice to listen to something, it'll be a beat or something that these guys have sent me to work on. Uh -huh. uh, just got to keep the mind busy. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, you lose track of time when you get into something juicy, when you're writing something juicy, mm -hmm. innit? Do you know what I mean? Like, you do, so man. I enjoy it. So, like, it's therapeutic. I think, I think to myself, oh, I'll just have half hour out back, and then before you know it, Mrs. is there, like, You've been out there for three hours now. <laughs> when are you going to come back in? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, OK, that's my cue. Like, but, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the good thing about it is, like, everyone has their own music taste. Yeah. So, like, when we go have band practice, and we have with our most recent band practice, we just start mucking about. Yeah, and shout then, out to our partners as well, because they have to wear the bars over, oh, and yeah. over and over and <laughs> over. Yeah, they don't want to... By the time we release a song, yeah, our partners don't want to even listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's ruined. <laughs> ruined. <laughs> oh, shout out Nick, because he has to put up with me. <laughs> it's Craig's partner. <laughs> <laughs> he wishes. And uh, what about you, Craig? What uh, sort of uh, people do you... Uh, music inspires you? Um, I'm into a lot of music. Uh, good music, mainly. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that, that's, 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 that's subjective, that is, really, oh, isn't mate, it? You know what I mean? You guys <laughs> inspire me a lot. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> my, my band mates inspire me a lot. They're good, awesome. Good, but, uh, good. I like, like some Jack Johnson songs and all sorts, really. Uh, I, I used to listen to a lot of metal when I was younger. Yeah. But that's what got me into guitar and things. Like, yeah. yeah. He was a Metallica fan and stuff like that. Did you sort of listen to the new metal stuff that was sort of around in the sort of mid 90s and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah like Korn and all this that era. Yeah. Faith No More, that sort yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Our new tune Suppression's a bit new metal y. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's fun to play. Yeah. yeah. That's the main thing. That's the main thing, though, isn't it? When you're in a band, the main, ma the most important thing is to make sure it's fun. Oh yeah, definitely. Hundred percent. Yeah. No. And it sounds like you haven't. It. What's the next track you're going to play, guys? Uh, the next track's a new one off the album. It's called "See No Enemies." I'm just oh. going to swap with Craig quickly. Quick, quick little adjustment on stage. Striders, I let things go. I'll give them warmth when they treat me cold. Deep down in 
inside I want you to know When I live my life I live by this cold Cause I don't see no enemies No, I don't see no enemies They'll claim to be a friend to me Watch how they treat you and you believe me But then the love just vanish It'll leave you broken and damaged Struggling from the weight of the baggage And it needs some understanding If you loved your child then why did you abandon If you love your man why not love him with passion If you love your why turn your back then What is trust, what is truth If you open up to only get used I'm stuck, I'm confused Take good look how I treated you when you still deceived me Believe me, look how I treated you when you all needed me Believe me, see how I treated you all well But somehow you still just leave I don't me. see no enemy no, I don't see no enemies They'll claim to be a friend to me Watch how they treat you And you believe me Maybe it's me cause I'm always stressing Now I realise that I'm codependent Always been worried about rejection Seeking validation with high expectations When I'm stressed out and annoyed I try my hardest to fill the void Wild sex, hell, pain and smoke and joy Drinking booze and improves Now what's the point? It's deep Grab his help, I can't love when I don't love myself It's peak, oh well I spent nothing more from the cruel world And it turned me into a nasty kid I tried to control my side of a narcissist The karma denominator for narcissist But I guess that's just the way that it is I don't see no enemies No, I don't see no enemies We're afraid to be a friend to me Watch how they treat you And you believe me You've all got dead stop endings of catching us out all the time. <laughs> got a few uh, more shout outs. Shout outs to uh, Giovanni Adamo. Shout out to uh, Philip O'Neill. And uh, shout out to uh, Natalie Louise James. Guys, thank you very much for listening whoop, whoop. and uh, watching the show. So, AJ, AJ what, uh, did you grow up in a musical family? Uh, yeah, my granddad uh, taught me to play guitar. Um, I'd say, like, I think uh, a lot of us are inspired, like, w when we're growing up, like, what our parents would listen to and stuff yeah. like that. I think that has a big impact. Um, but, yeah, so much like my granddad played guitar, but apart from that, I think I was very influenced by the stuff that they were listening to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What sort of stuff did he listen, did he listen to at the time when you were... Uh, so? Meatloaf, ACDC, yeah. uh, your Michael Jacksons, um, ABBA, ABBA's great, um, Fleetwood Mac, mm. um, Dr. Hook, a big fan of Dr. Hook. A lot, a lot of seventies music, yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot of seventies yeah, style music. Stuff, yeah. And as the collective, the first band that you've been in, or have you been in any previous bands like? Uh, I was in another band when I was younger. Was um, it? Yeah, that was called Amicus. Yeah, is that the first band you was in? It was, yeah. And this, yeah. this is the second band I was in, yeah. No, well, I should go round sort of and ask: Has anybody else been in a band previous? And they got any really good band names that they can come out with? Who's who's that at the back there? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot nipple claw. <laughs> Don't have a mic. Uh, you can't swear. You've got to be... You know, like, no, I've been in, like, five or six. Have you? Uh, there was a... Well, <laughs> me and Aaron named our band at college Nipple Claw. That's a good which name. Is quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like uh, that one. I was in a cover band called The Asbo Ducks. <laughs> uh, Accidents and Stars and Mousetrap, uh, Brave New World. Uh, that's all the ones I I've still had. like the first one, Nipple Claw. I think that's a... <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a winner. That's a winner. That yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 I was in a metal band called Reach the Edge. Reach the Edge, quite good, quite good. Anybody we else? Two other members that are in actually two other bands that are actually going. So go on then, Chris, if you want to shout out your band. Uh, go on. Don't worry, though. Uh, you know whether yeah, of course you do. Future yeah, Theory. yeah, Future Theory, great band. Yeah. Uh, Where well, we got Mr. Mr. Bankins. Free to decide. I mean, Doc. Yeah, free to decide. decide. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So I mean, really, when I when you, I say as a, as a Grantham music scene, it's quite healthy, really, because you've got some good bands in Grantham. Yeah, you? it's just like, yeah, there is good. There's people that making good music. Yeah, yeah, in Grantham, but yeah. there ain't nowhere really to showcase it well enough. Mm. Yeah. Like a lot of the venues have closed down. A lot of the venues that are going now and not long been doing it. 
Or bias towards like just booking yeah, bands. like yeah. yeah th that's a massive thing that you come across. Obviously, mm. with live shows is pe there's a higher demand for cover bands than there are original. <laughs> People want to sing while they're drunk at their parties or whatever. Like we all know that, or weddings or whatever. That's like, why. Yeah, that's like, why. That's why we don't do uh, cover bands on the show because we know that it's hard work for original. I mean, artists, we have so. discussed it before. Mm. We've we've always had the idea of being like a you know like a late eighties, early nineties hip hop cover band. <laughs> you know, it would sell, wouldn't it? There's a market yeah. for it. I suppose but it is. Yeah. It's just not enjoyable, is it? No, like, no. I think it's better to do your. I honestly yeah. think it's better to do your own stuff. Yeah, I do. Best. I do think yeah. platforms like this are really important. Though. Yeah. Like, um, like we've been visiting you for nearly eight years. Yeah, now, no, time goes on, doesn't and, it? Um, yeah. Yeah, having platforms like this where we can actually come and showcase our music as original bands is very important, I think. There's not enough yeah. of these sort of things around. That's it. No, well, no, there's not enough venues around anyway, full stop, is there, really? Yeah. You know, so... Uh, luckily for us, we've got two or three in Peterborough at the moment, so, yeah, things are not too bad at the moment. For, for you have quite Peterborough. a few festivals here as well in Peterborough, didn't you? Willow not Festival really. <laughs> not for a long time. I mean, the no. Willow Festival, Willow Festival come back, but, yeah, that was like... I'd been away for it, probably... Is that, yeah. is that the only one that you got going? The real big one, yeah. There's there's another one on the other side of town called uh, the Yaxley Festival that comes on and goes, but I don't think that was on this year because the Willow Festival came back. I may be wrong, but something, something like that, yeah. Well, we enjoyed that. We were there yeah. for that. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah. 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 I mean, hopefully you now... You the for that, didn't we? Yeah. 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 I, I enjoyed it. Got to see you, Doc. That was the highlight, bro. Hey. Just got to see your face there. Oh, in the great. Crowd I mean, it was a rainy old Saturday, weren't it? It was a rainy it old Saturday, indeed. but yeah, everybody there was really enjoying it. Yeah, themselves. the rain brought. We were all like, oh, no, the weather's rubbish, but because we're intense, the weather actually worked out. Yeah, it worked in your favour, didn't it? You, <laughs> you, well, you had everybody up and dancing. People were dancing and singing along to your song, so yeah, yeah, that, that was the main thing. What? What's the next one you're going to play for us, guys? Uh, the next one's another one off the album called Unbalanced. Off you go. This is like one of my favourites. Do you feel the weight of the greedy and the blind? Like the pain that we had only live in one side of the fence And the rest don't really care Guess it's cool to not give enough I guess it's cool to be you, I don't think that's much but We're all still worthy of love Used to think it was nice to just write with my friends About how we're all fine and the world don't make sense But then, all good things come to an end I'm still feeling like me in this But we've all got to grow, I won't know that against you Yeah, I'll know in my place and we needed this Unbalanced, we're rolling now No limits, we're waking up No answers are all we found The people are waking up
I've got a few more shout outs. Shout out to uh, Paul Hudson. Uh, shout out to uh, Thomas Dunleavy. Uh, uh, Sinead Cannon says, hey, AJ, I love this one. Thank you, uh, Sinead. Love, love. A shout out to uh, Brian Who's guys. Thank you very much for listening and uh, watching the show. That one sort of had a, a different sort of beat to it, didn't it? It was sort of like a, I don't know, it's sort of like a bluesy country and western that's it. song. That's that Johnny Cash influence. Yeah, the, Johnny yeah, Cash influence. country influences there. Yeah. We've been playing too much Red Dead Redemption, me and Sue, that's what it is. <laughs> Hooked on that game. And then all, all, all of a sudden you're uh, off into a bit of rap. That really is a, a crossover. A crossover, isn't it, sort of thing? You know? If you've ever started to play Johnny Cash in what, what game? Red Redemption or something? Like that? <laughs> Red <Dead> Redemption. <laughs> yeah, man. Or well, Red or Dead, or whatever it is. I don't know. I don't play. I ain't got. I ain't got no time to play computer games. <laughs> you know what I mean? You should be right. I wish I had not... more time to play it. Uh, <laughs> oh, some people live their whole lives on the Xbox, don't they? You know. So yeah, yeah. No, you can't write a song on the Xbox, though, can you? I mean, you probably could, but yeah, we'll not get into that. <laughs> yeah, remember the There's probably a game for that. PlayStation 2 when we were kids and that. There oh, was a, mate. That was there a was a beat-making game that you can... Yeah, it was oh, banging, man. It was banging, bro. PS2, bro. We were like, how old were we? We'd have been like 13, 14 years old. Yeah, was that one called Rockstar or something like that? What's it called Rockstar? You buy it down the shop. It was a game. You put it yeah. in there and it was yeah. literally like a rip-off version of Fruity Loops, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the one you... Because the they used to even have like a fake guitar with that one, didn't they? Or something like that. You oh, can, like uh, yeah. Guitar Hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. There we go. Shinad Cannon, he says, uh, hip-hop and country is my two favourite genres. Yes. El Collective tick all the boxes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, sh shout out to uh, Paul Sentence and a shout out to uh, Greg Magoski. Guys, thank you very much for listening and uh, watching the show. What's the next one you're going to do for us, guys? Uh, we'd like to introduce our brother Burgess, who's travelled here. He was caught in traffic on the way, but he's here now. This is Burgess. He is featured on the new album, Organised Chaos. Um, our brother Damo is here as well. And uh, yeah, we'd like to introduce you to Burgess properly. Oh, well, not me before. Uh, How'd you do? Mike here, brother. Uh, I'll get out of the way because the, the boys are going to take it now for uh, the new single suppression. But yeah, Burgess, this is uh, Doc Mason. Doc Mason, this is Burgess. Nice to meet you guys. What's going on? <laughs> just, just let it run, just let it run. Just let me feel. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, 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 uh. Say yourself a clothes, say yourself a gold, say yourself a clothes, and you think that you could hold. Say yourself a pity, don't see yourself a breed. Hate yourself for what you're seeing, hate your punch, see deep. Crave, dream, crave, blood, crave, drop, crave, love, crave.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't even hear myself. Yeah, well done. I had any trouble with that song is it's not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Should be twice as long. We'll take that one as a compliment, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're off into raging against the machine territory there, aren't we, really? Realize. Uh, believe it or not, but we've actually only ever played that like together once. Oh, yeah, oh, you've done a grand job of it. We haven't even practised that yeah, together. Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, we, haven't, we haven't had a practice in yonks, mate. Yonks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, well, it worked I put fine. Pressure on him yesterday, yeah. Doc. Man, I was like, "You fancy coming to radio tomorrow?" And he was like, "I've just got back from New York, but yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Good lad. That's 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 the sort of stuff I like, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. Anybody in that band uh, a, a fan of Rage Against the Machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've, you, you I think that must have rubbed off on you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's the right way to go. Get it going. Without a doubt. Well, you, oh, roughly, I don't know. How many more songs you got left for us? Uh, we've got uh, two or three more for you. Excellent. I'll let you motor on with them then. What's the next one called? Uh, this next one's uh, another special one that we wrote with Burgess. Um, it's called What Have You Done? Uh, I'll let Burgess take this middle mic so I can jump to the side. Uh, right. Yeah. It's such some fun. You have to bear with me on this one. Uh, it's been a little while. I've been running it over while I was driving in the car. Stuck yeah. in traffic in um, Yaxley. What's, yeah. going, what's going on in Yaxley then? Uh, it was it was it was past Yaxley. I, I think it was it was literally just a a mile from the turn off to get to here. Ah, you know, yeah. I was yeah. Just stuck. It was someone sandwiched their cars together. And no. I don't want to diss BMW drivers or Mercedes drivers, but every time I look, it's always one of them. Ain't none of them got indicators, is it? Car erection. Yeah. Just crash cars. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. Where do we begin with that? But yeah, I want to dedicate this to uh, one of my friends who ain't around here no more. It's going to be two years since he left this planet on the 25th of September. Yeah. Uh, it was a very special song. And uh, I don't know how it happened, but it just happened, didn't it? You know, you, you had the beat and things just kind of worked. Came together beautifully, man. It did, man. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Just got to bear with me for trying to remember lyrics since I'm, I'm, no my mind is still in the sky. What have you done to me all of this time? Can we just rewind? Oh, why can't we find the solution? We used to be more than this. Oh, what have you done to me, done to me? Hate talking about you in hindsight. Being in my mind's eye, gonna try my best just to find light, something to digest, dear. Cause you ain't felt the pain I felt. Blood stains on, on the, the pavement, pavement. where you last laid in. Looking for the pig who took my mate in. All I hear is tears say, tears roll on my face How could this be the last place that you parted, then departed? How it started, I will never know Mate on the telephone telling me you're gone Wishing he was wrong and was cutting off just to blow you up Then I think of all the little scumbags you've been chilling with On the bare minimum, felt like killing them Frank Castle put a hit on them Jumped in the car for a moment, I don't even know where I'm going Thinking of the road, who the foe is, and now it could be so cold And then the call came and brought us more shame In the cool house with your mum and dad supporting somehow I feel awkward, they're exhausted, waiting for the outcome. How come did it have to end this way? Looking in the killer's eyes with no signs of sympathizing the victim's life. I'm just sitting like what? What have you done to me all of this time? Can we just rewind? Oh, why can't we find a solution? We used to be more than this. Oh, what have you done to me? Done to me. Look what you've done to me, you crossed the line I remember the time when we saw eyes that I was broken You meant so much to me
see, that's emotional for you. Well done, guys. Uh, shout out to uh, Louise, Mc Louise McKinley. Uh, she says, uh, whose boy's a proud mum? Yes, mum. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, guys, you've got two more left. Do you want to play them? Uh, oh, before you play them back to back, tell us about the, the date of the, of the album launch. What day is it and where is it at again? So on November 17th, uh, we'll be performing at the Voodoo Lounge in Stamford with support from King Chico, Burgess, Underrated, Demo is coming. Um, and Warren Island will be there as well and we'll be launching the album there um, and we just want to shout out everyone involved on the album um, yeah. pretty much just named them all there I think we've got um, <laughs> Hayley Chapman from Free to Decide uh, they were good enough to bring her choir she's got um, a rock Vox Academy where she uh, teaches girls to sing and they're featured on the album as well excellent um, All sounds great. And Paul Hugill is featured on the album as well, and yeah, everyone's going to be there on the night. It's going to be a special one. It's been everyone on the album. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fill the place up. So two back to back, if you want, finish us off this evening. Yeah. What 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 two are you going to finish with? Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to do a couple of covers for you, Doc. Right. <clears throat> if, uh, Thanks for having me, Doc. You're most welcome, you, Burgess, man. If if you want to jump up, if you've got any bars for this, man, you feel free to join us, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, first. yeah. yeah. Watching like good times, these are our good times. These are our good times. These are our good times. Yo, yo, time is poison. I found it in my dreams, I found it in my sheets, and now it's in the streets and the noises, polluting all the beats. And the truth is, when they speak, they destroy your peace while employment. It's the power of the beast Think before you speak Cause the masons ain't free While enjoyment It's all I've got And so I speak And believe I'm a breach But the government's needs To push poison But these are our good times Good times These are our good times Good times Good times These are our good times Good times Good times Good times My contribution is a cost to prove And my conclusion is a shot to prove Conduct's got con stock of losing convenient control, lock of snoozing, comfort to sleep to sue me that night, not kind of with a condo and sue me, and then it'll stay kind of condo that's ruined in a commune, comfort to contact shooting, conduct looting, so you're being condo nowadays, you need protection, condo, protect the left, come to so many cons, don't know where they came from, I'm not on board of con, call with cognac, but prepare for going back when I make contact, my content contains conspiracy contracts.
Just watching them. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, the collective. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Big shout out to the two Steves, uh, one doing the mixing, Destiny, one doing the cameras. A big shout out to uh, Jack there. Guys, thank you very much indeed. And hope.